There's no limit to your love. There's no limit to your grace. There's no limit, Lord. So we take you by the hand. Lead us where you want to go. And there we're there with you this morning. For there's no other place. There's no other place that no other place that we'd rather be than right here with you, right here. We go deeper, deeper. We go deeper. the center right now. Turn your eyes, turn your focus. Center in. Engage with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit right now. Center, center. Magnify the Lord. To make bigger make larger. The Lord said this morning, if you will magnify me, I will grow into that place that is safe, that is secure, that is immovable. And everything in your life, everything else will fade away as you look at me. Stay right here, the Lord says. Stay in the center. Let your life pivot, let your thoughts pivot, let your words pivot in the center of my love, center of my grace. Ooh, we move and have our being in the center of your love. Ooh. Hmm. We had a word earlier this morning that guilt and shame and dismay is going to be falling off of people today. Even online, if that's you this morning, guilt, shame, and dismay has to go. Has to go. The Lord is freeing us up. He's unlocking. Oh, the other thing that we had this morning, keys. The keys of the kingdom were handed to us. And we unlocked the doors to mindsets. Unlock the doors. Unlock the, the baggage that just so many times weighs us down. So, Lord, we just unlock them in Jesus' name. Guilt, shame, religion, anything that keeps you in a box, keeps you limited, we unlock those mindsets, mindsets and say, you have to go. Go right now. And we take on your infinity in the spirit. Yeah. Whoa. What would happen, y'all? What would happen if we didn't have any limits? It's true. We are without limits. So, Lord, just show us what that looks like. As we step into it.
to you our hearts are open we're gonna stay there just for a minute to you our hearts are open to your grace God. to your Lordship to you our hearts are open
Yeah, Lord. Refine us. <laughs> Burn up everything that is not of you. Everything. Lord, we want one thing, not one thought, not one word, not one action that is not in the center of who we are in you. So we welcome your fire this morning. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Do we welcome a church? Okay. The Lord is asking us, do you really mean it? Wow. Yes, Lord, we mean it. I don't even care what it looks like. Burn us up, Lord. Let the fire of your passion burn us up. We can't live without it. We want all of it, Lord. And if we're just a pile of cinders after you're finished burning us, that's okay. Because then you'll rise us from the ashes.
calling on the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your fire, for your glory, for your spirit being loosed and released in the earth and right now in this place. The fire of God, the glory of God releases many things. It's the fear of God. It's the power of God, being aware of the awesomeness of God, burning out the junk of your life. Broken places, yeah, sin causing us to see things. He reveals it like, ah, if you're in Christ, the things that he's still refining in us, it's the refining fire. So don't go like, well, man, I'm afraid. Yeah, there's a holy fear of the fire of God, but then there's a reverent fear. There's a joyous fear, like an excitement, like, ah, Lord, a refining fire. He's the great metallurgist, right? He takes metals and like he's just making it more perfect. Silver and gold. The silver and gold of your life being made more perfect in the holy fire of God. So Lord, we receive your fire. We receive your glory today, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. All that I am, Lord, all that I am is all for you. It's all for you, Lord. Take me, Lord. Make me, Lord, more like you. Yes, Lord. Yeah, Lord, take me, Lord. Yeah, Lord, shake me, Lord. Make me more like you, more like you more so even if you're you're kind of in a mystery like I don't know what I'm doing it's okay like just say Lord I'll just take more the Lord said his kids we can ask for more of his spirit when you come to know God you you know him you're in him but he doesn't stop there there's a being filled the being filled so lord we're taking taking more of the being filled yeah lord more lord more you know with fire comes healing so if there's anybody in this place or online who needs physical healing in their bodies in the name of jesus you are healed Receive your healing. Fire heals. And his fire is here for that. Thank you, Jesus. Jerry, you got something? Come on. Give that mic to Jerry. <laughs> yeah, I feel that because our God is a consuming fire. Ponder that for a moment. He's a consuming fire. And anything that is in his presence that is not of him gets burned away. You know, some of us are experiencing something very different. There's a sense of a phasing in and phasing out, sometimes in our body when we get so close to the presence. And we don't like to use too many mystical words because that confuses, but when you are so enveloped, entangled, in him what do you expect is going to happen why is this why is this a mystery you can't get that close what what did the the hezekiah was it said no it was touch the fire of god there's a passages all through the scriptures about coming so close to the fire and being totally undone by it well, maybe that's what we really need. Because we're so full of ourselves. So, Father, we say yes to the fire today. We say yes. Whoa. There's just such a vibration in this room right now. And, and sense of a phasing in and out. What is here, what is there, <laughs> it's blended together. And that's the way it should be, because we're seated with Him in heavenly places. We're in Him. We're in both realities.
We welcome you. We welcome your fire. Just breathe in right now. Just take a really deep breath and center yourself again. Take a deep breath and then slowly, just slowly let that out. And just focus only on his presence, his face. Not what's going on up front here. What's coming the, re the rest of the day. Just breathe in the life of God. See, you're in Him. And He's in you. <laughs> and some of you appear here are wrecked. <laughs> A good wrecking, okay? <laughs> oh, Lord, your church needs so desperately to be set on fire. And we welcome that. <laughs> so some of you are watching in this house. I don't think it's much of a surprise. But some of you might be watching. Go, what is going on in that house? And in scripture it talked about when the priest were, went into the temple to minister to the Lord. And the cloud of God would, ascend, would descend into his dwelling place. There were times that the priest could not stand to minister. So do we fully know what that is? The weight of the glory of God feels like weight. So that's what you're experiencing. If you're feeling that, sometimes it feels like it's on my head. For instance, like right now, Teresa and Leanne, it's like drunk in the spirit. Or it's a weight, it's hard to stand because here it just feels like your body's like under the, the weight of the glory of God which is God's way of saying, yeah, I'm, I'm doing business right here. So just receive it. Say, Lord, come. Lord, I'll take more. I'll take more. Papa says, you can ask for more. I'll give you more. Or you can pull back and sit on the bench at the edge of the pool and go, well, look, well, look at them people swimming in there. Isn't that cute? I encourage you to get in the pool. Yeah. Just like a fun party. I'm jumping in the pool with my clothes on. I'm getting in there right now. I'm just jumping in there. Lord says, dive in. You can dive in. I'll give you more. You're, and you might feel like, well, Lord, what will that do? Well, I can't tell you what that'll do because it'll do different things to different people. You'll get free of things. You'll get happy. You'll get the joy of the Lord. You'll get weepy. Sometimes it shakes things loose. You get delivered of stuff. You get healed of stuff. You get a revelation of things. Yeah. Lord, we receive all that you desire for your kids yeah. today. Lord, we bless your people with increase. I bless you even in this house or watching and feel like, I don't know if I know the Lord. Well, when Jesus said, it's me, when they came to arrest him, they said, where is Jesus? Who is it? Who are you? He goes, I'm he. And they all fell out. And most of those people didn't believe. It was just the glory of God, the declaration of who the Lord is. When the Lord speaks, it comes across like a crash. Lord, speak today in the hearts of people. Yes, Lord. So, I can hardly describe what's happening right uh. now. A couple guys get the girls a chair here so they can sit right in the front and they can talk about what's going on. But it feels like a, almost like a washing machine. Yeah. Uh, or a wave machine in the spirit. Washing the alley and keep talking, we're hearing. And uh, I know there are some of you that you're going, I've never experienced that. And, but there's such weight in it. It's like, wow, I can hardly stand. And I feel like... He wants us to know him and to experience him. It's not enough to know in your brain. We've got to know him and experience him.
That's what we were created to do. And so I feel like if you want your experience turned up and there is absolutely no performance in this whatsoever, I can tell you what that looks like. I've been there and this is not that. If you want more of what God has for you, you want to experience it. You've always seen other people experience it. You go, but I just want to try it. I just want to feel it once. The Lord wants to open the door for you to step into a manifestation of his spirit this morning. So that's what you want. I think you're supposed to come up here. So and we're just going to impart and transfer and release what we're experiencing right now into every one of you. Anybody that wants more of this experiencing the manifestation of the presence of God. This is not a show. You don't have to do anything but receive when you come up here. Lord, we're saying everything, 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 everything. We want everything that you have. Receive everything that God has for you. Everything. Hope. Remove any blockages that have kept you from receiving all that he has for you. Today's the day. We can't go back. We don't want to go back. Ah, release your glory, the weight of your glory upon my brothers and sisters, Lord. Ah. Just receive it. If you're around us right now, just receive it. If you're online, receive it. I don't care. It is not limited to this space up here. I'm telling you. Whoa, whoa. Higher. Show your mama ta roto. Receive it, Lord. Receive it. Receive it. The power and the anointing, the glory, the presence of God to a greater level. Ho, ho, shiro no mama. Ho. Stephen Lorraine Mori, come up here. Begin to lay hands on people. Release this over people. Ho! Shili mama masoro. Ho! 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 Yes! Lord, more, more, more! Ho! Yeah! Whoa! Shiroto soroto. Tisoroto do kunda mama bato. Hayoroto. Siroto kunda. Fire, fire, fire. Oh my gosh, Lord, we're so grateful for your fire. Some of you are going to feel like electricity is going through your body right now. Some of you are going to feel a sense of burning. You're going to sense his power and his fire differently. Clogging our pipes this morning, church. Come on. Oh, the rotor rooter of heaven is at work right now. 
That's what we've asked for. That's what we've asked for. You said you would come in power. You said you'd come in might. You said you'd wake in the house again. That's what we asked for. It's what we've asked for. And he said, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. He looked around and wondered. As you promised, <laughs> you've looked around and thought, is this just a passing fantasy? I'm going to do again what I said I would the day I I said I would come, come in power once again. Do it again, 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 do it again. Do it again, do it again, do it again. no stopping. Yeah. So I feel like the Lord right now said, I'm renewing minds. I'm renewing your mind. 
I don't even know what it is. Is it spiritual? Is it physical? Is it dementia? Is it Alzheimer's? Is it demonic? Just many of you felt like, man, there's a cloud, like my wiring is off, right? Even online, you think, yeah, Carl, that's kind of like, I don't know, I don't know. Some of them, even you feel like doctors haven't even known. But now Jesus says, I'm renewing minds. That's more about just understanding yeah. the spirit. Lord, you're healing minds. So, Lord, we receive that. Right now, I speak the healing of the Lord into your mind, yeah. into your thinking. I cast off every infirmity in Jesus' name. Every lying spirit has to go. That thing where some of you feel like, man, there's been a claw on my head. So right now, I just remove that in Jesus' name. Just command that thing to go. I tell it to go in the name of Jesus above every name. So Lord, I thank you for healing minds right now. All, all realms of that, folks. The Lord said this renewing of mind, renewing of, of like your physical brain, remnants of, of environmental things. So don't, don't feel like, well, I don't know if it's mine. Anything in your mind related, thinking, brain stuff right now, the Lord's healing that. In Jesus' name, be healed, be healed. In the name of the Lord, to the glory of the Father. It's a new day, <laughs> says the Lord. <laughs> it's a new day. When my people are going to walk with my heart. They'll be so consumed with my passion. They sometimes won't even know who they are when they respond. But today the Lord says, I'm creating within you a new heart of my flesh. Who hears me? Who walks with me? Who talks my language? For the Lord says today is the day you will be recognized for my love. You'll be recognized for my peace. For you'll be walking with a heart of my fire that runs so deep, so deep, so deep. The Lord says, watch me, watch me. Watch me do what I want to do in you. Just watch me, watch me, watch me, and see what I want to do in you. You've longed for this moment. You've longed for this moment, says the Lord. But today, 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 it's happening. The shift is happening. The shift is happening.
saw rocks flying away. Boom. Well, it was busting up the hardness of your heart. Wow. As you guys were playing, literally those hits were just uh, absolutely splattering those rocks of your heart. The Lord said, some of you have been so cynical and so calloused because of past hurts, past pains, past disappointments. It doesn't matter what it is. Lord said, I've come to break up the hardness of your heart because I want to give you a heart of flesh that feels, that loves, that experiences my goodness. And you will be the body of Christ that is recognized by your love. You will become the safe place where people run to in the storm because they know you have something different than the world. If you're receiving, keep receiving. You don't need to get up. You don't need to move. God's doing a deep work here this morning. We don't want to rush this work because it's life changing. Oh, I'll never be the same again. No, I'll never be the same again. Saturate us. Marinate us. Saturate us and marinate us in your presence. Inside out. From the inside out. From the inside out. Saturate us. Marinate us. Saturate. And if you're on the floor, stay there. Someone will bring the elements to you. Wow. We're going to continue to saturate in his presence as we take the blood and the wine. Someone 
just bring some elements down here to those who are on the floor. There's no limit to your power. Limit, Lord, you're limitless. None can challenge your command. I'm going to pause here. If you're, if you're still receiving from the Lord, you don't have to get up. Just let the Lord keep you planted on the floor. Yeah, if you're getting a download, the Holy Spirit's pouring. You just soak in the goodness of God. You soak in that. You soak in it. Just stay soaking. If you're in the room, you're like, can I soak in it? You can sit there, hold your communion until the Holy Spirit is done. No hurry. There's no protocol for this. This is God's order. When people say, this is so out of order. Well, yes, it, it is because it's God's order. Lord, we're moving in His way. So we want you to receive everything the Lord's doing right now. So if you try to get up and the glory's still heavy, then just lay right back down. And go, yeah, Lord, more. Woo. <laughs> Woo yeah, Lord. I'm taking another drink, Lord. Okay, yeah, Lord. And if you're not getting a drink, say, Lord, over here. Like those that had prayed for revival. Lord, over here. There's no limit to your power. Thank you. None can challenge your command. Even death could not defy you. You are amazing, God. We'll do one course and then we're going to take communion, okay? So you just got to declare how good he is. You are. I think there's as many ways to focus on communion as there are minutes in eternity. But I noticed that Matthew and Mark both said, Jesus said, this is my body, and then take and eat, period. Dr. Luke said, this is my body given for you. And that word given in the Greek means to be turned over. But what really hit me was Paul, because he got this directly from revelation from the Lord, because he wasn't taught by the apostles. And what he wrote is, this is my body, which is for you. And that word for in the Greek means instead of. And all the revelation that Paul gives us in Romans and Galatians and Ephesians about who we are in him, all because of what he did for us and how we're, we're buried with him, we died with him, we're buried with him, and we're raised with him. His revelation of us in him, it was all right there in how he wrote about what Jesus said at the Last Supper. This is my body in your place. <sighs> oh. So, Father, our brains can't even wrap around that. How complete, how complete your genius is to wrap everything in your truth. That even before you went to the cross, you were giving that revelation. This is my body in place of yours. Bearing our judgment for us. Let's take and eat.
this is the cup of the new covenant in my blood. Drink all of it.
saw the Lord running with some of you, some of you were dancing with him, some of you were swimming with him, some of you I saw flying through the cosmos with him. Uh, where Steve Morey went. <laughs> <laughs> him and Jerry always. Away. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. You're so good. Wow. Y'all, I just, I'm sitting down here for a reason. I love you as our family. I really do. And just the fact that we can encounter the living God in a safe, relaxed place to experience him. Oh, what a relief. <laughs> What a relief. Oh, I love we're not churchy. <laughs> but we are the church. Yeah. We are the church, but we're not churchy. And you know, part of what's happening is we're becoming like little children. You know, grown-ups, are, they just get, can get, I won't declare that over anyone, but they can get all stuffy and worried about everything. But what do little children do? They trust. They trust. <laughs> That's what they do, Lisa. That's why they go, wee! <laughs> Mogan's smiling, watching us act like kids. He's thinking. Okay. It's good to be like a child. <laughs> Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise I have more to say about that, but let's hear about what happens to little children. Well, apparently, whatever happened when everybody was up here goes through wombs yes. because this child is not an active one and it did not stop moving <laughs> so yeah. there's that and then there's that <laughs> Woo. so Lord that this child would be a leader of worship a leader of the power of God fearless we're speaking fearlessness over this child and laser focus on his creator. Did I say that? His creator? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> we receive it. <laughs> You'd like to have another guy in the house, wouldn't you? 
But you know what? All this happened because of one thing, the presence of God. Jesus, thank you, Lord. And you were willing to say yes. You were willing to look foolish. You were willing to step out of any boxes that you've been in to say yes to the Lord and to experience him in a new way today. The second reason it happened is because of this space. This is a special space. God put it together, and I don't know if any of how many know this, but today is our fifth anniversary in this room. 